Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Well, today's Easter, so you know what that means. Eggs are being found all over the place, and the Easter Bunny and all that. And I thought, why not cover an Easter special today? Today, I decided to cover one that has been pretty much forgotten, and that would be a Family Circus Easter. I remember seeing this when I was in elementary school, and I loved it. But sadly, it's been forgotten. For those of you who don't know, and I'm pretty sure that's a lot of you, it goes like this. The kids are decorating Easter eggs with their folks. Their mom comes in with a little memento that they thought they lost. It's a little viewfinder they call the picture egg. It's basically like the old viewmaster. You look inside it and you see an image. And apparently it's the image of the Easter Bunny hiding Easter eggs. And it's because of this, Dolly, one of our main characters here, asks this question. Why does the Easter Bunny hide our eggs, Mommy? Yeah, that's a pretty big question, and it's funny. No one has ever asked that question, as far as I know. And, of course, the kids decide to hide the Easter eggs while their mom and dad are asleep. Meanwhile, Dolly spots the Easter Bunny. And so she starts singing a song, asking... Why do you hide Easter eggs? That's pretty much the gist of the song. Of course, while she's singing, they're all hiding Easter eggs all over the place. And they even set a trap to capture the Easter Bunny. And in the next morning, they find that they did capture the Easter Bunny after all. Of course, their mom says that they should let him go. And they promise to let him go as soon as they find the eggs. They find the eggs. And after a hilarious moment of the uh, Easter Bunny chasing the dog around the yard, they go in the house and look inside the picture egg. When we look inside the egg, all the kids are inside the Easter Bunny's world. And the Easter Bunny himself comes out and, well, basically he starts singing. And, of course, Dolly starts singing her big question of, why do you hide eggs? And the Easter Bunny kind of answers the question in the form of a song. And after he does that, he goes off to hide more Easter eggs. And the kids are at church and PJ sees that that bunny really was the Easter Bunny. It's a great little special, definitely worth watching. I remember watching it when I was in elementary school. It really got my attention. It was a real great little thing. I mean, the songs are not very memorable, but when it comes to Family Circus, you know, you think of just the simple one-page thing or, you know, just the old dots following them around the yard as to where they went. This one kind of gave a little bit more to you know, what they usually do. Pretty much everybody in here, you wouldn't really recognize their names except maybe one. And that would be the voice to the Easter Bunny. And that's because he's voiced by famous jazz musician and band leader, Dizzy Gillsby. And not to mention, this little special does something that nobody has ever done before. They actually ask the question, why does the Easter Bunny hide eggs? And of course, why does he make it so difficult? Well, like I said before, he does answer the question, but he kind of answers it in a bit of a roundabout way. Now, if I say it, it's not going to do it justice, so I'll have to show you. But because it's in the form of a song, and like any song, they repeat the chorus a lot, so I'm going to have to do it a little out of context. I'll just be cutting out a lot of the chorus and, you know, stuff that's not him giving an answer to the question. Sure, I could make it simple, give you a treasure map, and tell everyone exactly where all the eggs are at. If you take a friend's advice, we can both agree that what is truly valuable never comes that easily. So you think you know where it's hidden? How I made it disappear? Where do you think it really went? When you know it isn't here. You might think I'm only fooling. It's part of my technique. When I'm up hiding Easter eggs, I'm playing hide and seek. But it's much more than a sleight of hand. Much more than a game. I carefully hide each Easter egg to make it harder for you to claim. When you actually find it, and it's resting in your hand, there's a joy in the discovery and a world at your command. And that's pretty much what he says the whole time. Granted, he doesn't come out and say why he really does it. But I think with the little hints that he drops, I think we could all figure it out. For me, 
I think the answer is pretty clear. What he's basically saying is that he does this because he's basically teaching a life lesson. And that's the fact that if you want something in life, you've got to work for it. So, you know, the whole thing is you got to try. And it's not going to be easy because life isn't easy and goals aren't easy. you got to work for them. And that's what I think he was telling the kids. If you haven't seen this, and I'm sure you haven't, I'll put the link below so you can find it. If you ever get the time, look it up. I think you'll like it. This is Movie Fan, signing off.